99% of narcissists can't answer this question. There is one question that most narcissists cannot answer. It is a question that they despise. And you should be very cautious when you ask them this because it will cause a narcissistic injury which will be followed by narcissistic rage. The question is, what do you bring to the table? When you ask the narcissist this question, it will make them very upset. They will mock you. They will insult you. They will ask, what do you bring to the table? And then they will deny or minimize anything you say. Even though it may be why they targeted you in the first place. Narcissists really have nothing to bring to the table, which is why they focus so much on their physical appearance, because they know that's the only thing that's going to attract you, because other than that, they know they're just empty vessels. But the target often brings a lot to the table. They're the ones who are spending all of their time, money and resources. They're the ones who have the most to lose in the relationship. The person who cares the least in the relationship has the most power. And when you've invested nothing into it, you don't have to worry because you have nothing to lose. If they're worried about anything, it's that they might lose the conveniences that you are providing to them. Not that they're going to lose anything that they've invested in you because they have nothing to bring to the table. Which is why they expect you to put in all of the work. They expect you to spend your money they expect you to entertain them. Because they already know that you're the prize. They already know you have a lot to give. They have to act like they're the prize. But their mentality is that what they're bringing to the table is themselves. They expect you to see it as a privilege to be around them, even if they don't have anything that will benefit your life in any way. In their minds, they are the table and you're supposed to provide things for them. If anything, all these narcissists have to bring to you are problems and headaches. They will confuse you. They will make you question yourself. They will make your life hell. While they're bringing nothing to you, all they do is take. Which is why they focus so heavily on superficial things. Because that's designed to attract you so that they can put themselves in position to get what they want from you. So when it comes down to it, all they're really good at is taking and using. They're consumers, but they have nothing to bring to you. Which is why when you ask a narcissist, what do they bring to the table? They will get triggered. 
because they don't want to bring anything valuable to your life. They just want to take from you. When you ask a narcissist what do they bring to the table, they will get very angry or upset. They will mock and insult you. They will be sarcastic. They're not going to say that they could be supportive or understanding or that they can help you with your work. They're not going to say anything like that. They're going to be confused that you even asked the question because they're only there to take from you. They're not going to benefit your life in any way. They're only going to hold you back because they don't know how to cooperate with you. They only know how to compete against you. Narcissists think that they don't need to bring anything to the table because in their minds they're the price. In their minds they're very valuable even though they have nothing of value to offer you. But they are not the prize. The person who is the prize is the one who has the most to lose. The person who brings the most to the table. But the narcissist doesn't want you to see that. They will get angry and frustrated when you ask this question. Because they don't want you to see your value. They want to pull the wool over your eyes so that they don't have to do anything for you. They just want to sit back and let you do all of the work. They don't want to bring any personality. They don't want to be adventurous. They couldn't be that even if they wanted to because these are qualities that they have never worked on. They wouldn't know where to start. Because their entire lives they've only been focused on superficial things. They've only been focused on their false image. Which is not going to benefit you in any way. It may look good. But it's not practical. It's only going to be a hindrance in your life. It's only going to set you back. It's only going to keep you stuck. Well, you have everything you need to propel yourself forward. You have everything you need to take the narcissist to the next level. But they don't want you to see that. Because how you see yourself affects how you see them. And how you see them affects how they see themselves. And they want to see themselves as valuable and important. Which is why when you ask them this question, it will make them mad. Because it brings them back to reality. It brings them back to the truth that they buried within. Which is that they really have no value. Because they never took the time to work on the qualities and traits that are valuable. Instead, they focused on superficial things. And it's too late for them to start now. Because for them to do that, they would have to accept that they're nothing. They would have to accept that they have no value. And that's just something no narcissist is going to do. Because their only motivation for doing that would be to support you. When a narcissist is only concerned with their own feelings and needs. They're not going to choose their source of supply over their false self. Which is why they will be like this until the day they die.
they're never going to change. They're never going to improve. The only thing they can do is simulate value by manipulating your emotions. When you ask the narcissist what do they bring to the table, it will cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. Because they see that you know your value. They see that their game is not going to work on you. Because you're not validating their false self. You're not supporting the illusion. Their craft of manipulation may have worked for them with other people, but they realize that it's not going to work with you. They have to be supportive. They have to cooperate with you. They have to put in the work to provide an equal exchange of value. Which makes them mad. Because they don't want to be there to help you. They don't want to be supportive. They want to be above you. They want you to serve them without expecting anything in return. They want to be in control, which is why they don't want you to see your worth. They don't want you to know what you bring to the table. But if you ask them, they're just going to shame you. They're going to target your self-esteem because they want to put the focus on you. They don't want to accept that they have nothing to bring to the table. But they know that at some point you're going to come to that conclusion. They know that at some point you're going to realize they're no good for you anyway. So they're just looking for short term relationships where they get you to provide conveniences to them and pay for things because they know that it isn't going to last. They know that they have nothing of value to bring to you. They know that you would be better off without them. So before they even get involved with you, they've already rejected themselves. Because they know they're not good enough. A narcissist cannot remain around a strong, confident person for long periods of time. They have to break you down. They have to make you doubt yourself. That's the only way they can remain around you. Because only then can they feel like they're in control. Only then can they feel like they have a purpose. Which is why they inevitably end up with people who are weak. A doormat. An emotional punching bag. Someone they can treat however they like. While they use their appearance to manipulate you. To keep you locked into their control. And they expect you to not want anything more. Which is why narcissists go from relationship to relationship. Because most people do want more. But narcissists don't know how to keep a person happy. All they can do is play games. But after some time, you get tired of playing the game and then they have to move on. They go from relationship to relationship while they're always playing the victim. 
when it's really because they don't possess the required qualities and skills to maintain a relationship, to have something long term. They're always on social media. They're always on dating apps. They're always mad at the opposite sex when really they just need to look themselves because they don't know how to be good relationship partners because they're only focused on what they can get. They're not even concerned about what you want. They never even take the time to ask you what you want in a relationship partner. And if you ever confront them on this, they will get mad because they don't care about what you want from them. All they care about is showing up and getting what they want from you. And if you're going somewhere in life, you're difficult for them to control, which is why they often downgrade and end up with someone who's stuck someone who isn't going anywhere in life because that type of person is easier for them to control if that if that person had any direction in life they would be asking the same question they would be asking them what do they bring to the table which is why narcissists want people who are weak people who they can break down and lock under their control Someone who has no boundaries. Someone who has no standards. Someone who will accept anything. A person who doesn't respect themselves. A person who doesn't know who they are. A person who doesn't love themselves. Because if you love and respect yourself and you have direction in life, you will ask them this question. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video, video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.